Right, Kristen. Supervisors do not run on a partisan platform. They don't have an R or a D after their name during the election cycle. But the people that elect them do. And it's probably going to be Democrats that are going to come away happier with this new map than when, what they had with the old map. I'm going to go through district by district. What changed? We want to start with District 4. That would be David Couch's district. And let's take a look at what happened here. The old map was the most solidly Republican district based on voter registration data that we reviewed today. The new map, this becomes the most heavily Democratic district. David Couch's district changed significantly geographically. He loses Taft and a lot of Southwest Bakersfield, both reliably Republican areas of the map. He picks up Delano, uh, McFarland, Shafter, Lamont, and Arvin. Those are more reliably Democratic areas of the map. So that's going to be a complete 180 degree turnaround for that district, District 4. That is now the second of the majority Latino districts that this whole thing was going about uh, to create. Let's go to the next, the next district now, District 5. This is Leticia Perez. Old map, this was a heavily Democratic district comprising mostly Arvin and Lamont. The new map, also heavily Democratic, but now it is East Bakersfield. Again, she loses Arvin and Lamont, picks up. Most of that district just shifts to the north geographically to pick up East Bakersfield. So there's the two heavily Democratic districts. Now let's go through the other three. District 1 there, Mick Gleason, his map shrunk geographically. He had been up in the mountain communities. His district had gone all the way down to the valley floor, to the, about to, the, to Highway 99. That old map leaned Republican. The new map will lean heavily Republican as he loses Delano, McFarland, and Shafter. All three reliably Democratic uh, portions of the map are now off of his, so he'll be a, an easier uh, road to hoe for him in terms of his reelection in a couple years. Let's go to the next one here, district number two. Zach Scribner. Opposite effect here, his, in terms of geography, his district grew quite a bit, picked up some more areas of the map. He'll, he will be extending much farther to the west. His, lap, his, uh, his portion of the map leans slightly Republican on the old map according to that voter registration data. Now will be leaning more heavily Republican based on gains that he has now in the map on Taft, Maricopa, and Fraser Park areas. So again, a more conservative map for District 2, Zach Scribner. And District 3, we're going to be looking at here is Mike Maggard. Mike Maggard had a district that kind of had a, a little bit of an arc shape before. It leaned Republican. The new map will lean more heavily Republican as he loses parts of East Bakersfield that voted Democratic, picks up a small piece of Southwest Bakersfield that, according to our voter registration data, uh, is more of a reliable Republican portion of Bakersfield. So in summary, we have three solidly Republican districts, two solidly Democratic districts. That was really a change from a four to one scenario. Now it is three to two. David Couch likely to have the most difficult road to a re-election, and that re-election will come sooner than it would have otherwise. And for that piece of the story, we turn now to Raina Harvey, who's live downtown. Raina.